Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Today, we are going to be going to Wyvern Hill. It's 30 floors, so I imagine it's not going to be very easy. So, best to do a little bit of preparation. First things first, I don't think it would hurt to buy a couple of these. One-shot orbs are definitely good to have. Inviting orb... Eh, not that. I look at seeds like the totter seed, and it's like, at this point in the game, I'm not sure I want to fill my inventory with one-shot items like that, aside from orbs like the one that I just bought, which are really super duper useful. Otherwise, I kind of prefer wands for the most part, whenever I have wands available. Uh, what else we got here? What sort of TMs are you selling today? Smackdown Sludge Wave? Nearby Pokemon. Damages nearby enemies could also make them poisoned. Something for Solid Snake. I, I kind of wonder if it would be better than what he has. Well, let's, let's kind of figure this out real quick. Status. Solid Snake. Belch. Belch is already a pretty powerful move, but it's also a special attack, so that is an option. So that is how powerful Belch is. And how powerful is Sledge Wave again? Not as powerful. Might be worth buying, though. Sure, why not? This is an easy decision, since it's only for one of my teammates. So... Go for it. Along with that, we'll go ahead and quickly grab whatever item we can get from here. Deposit. That. Just an apple. Okay. Time for my recently fresh strategy of finding out what is in Wyvern Hill without having to explore it. Wait, wait, wait. No. No, no, no. Check if there's any other quest for Wyvern Hill. Hi, right back. Cross the key. We can... Oh, yep. Grab this. And now, we'll make a quick trip to Wyvern Hill. Doesn't matter what team. Oh, wow. This is a nostalgic song. Okay. Escape orb? Didn't we do good today? Yes, we did good finding out what is going to be there. Because this will present a list of all the Pokemon that are there. Or at least the one ones we are familiar with. And that will allow me to decide what to bring along. You know what would be really nice is if... Pelipper here is delivering a quest to Wyvern Hill. Nope, Tiny Woods. Ha! Huh. Convenient that it is the other location that has the song that we just heard. The very first dungeon we went to. So what is at Wyvern Hill? Besides dragons, of course. Oddish... Tuttledown, Jumpleth, Ludicolo, Flygon. Ooh, that's dangerous. Altaria, Bagon, Shogun, Salamence. It seems to me that I want to bring along Maddie for those ice attacks. Well, there's dragons here, so 
want to keep that in mind too. Lots of dragons. And dragons are strong against a lot of things. So, in the past day, has another one appeared for Wyvern Hill? No. That would have been nice. That's a good thing to be given. What else have we got? Buy items. Gravel rack, apple, apple. Well, I just used up an escape arm, so definitely buy another one of those. Hyper Beam, Earthquake Psychic? That's a good thing to have, but nobody can you know, learn it. Darn! Fire Blast. Still waiting for another Flamethrower. Low Sweep, Giga Impact, Leech Life. Who else can learn Hyper Beam out of curiosity? Maddie, Pinky, well, a bunch of us can, actually. Uh, not necessarily certain that I want to learn it. Oh, I know who I want to bring along. I know who I want to bring along. So, whatever's going to happen, Etoile and Maddie are going to go together. And who would be the third teammate? There's dragon types there. Perhaps Shiva. I feel like Shiva would be probably a pretty dang good choice, actually. So... Yeah, that'll be the team. Now then, take out... There it is, Blizzard. Funnily enough, Maddie could er also learn it. But we're going to go ahead and teach it to the obvious. I mean, Shiva needs a good room clear sort of attack so what do we get rid of freeze dry i shot oh oh i'm gonna ha also have to do some linking here it almost seems pointless to have a reflective or bring etoile so Maddie's suggesting getting rid of Ice Shard. Yeah, we'll get rid of Ice Shard. I, yet we are going to get rid of Ice Shard. And let's do some linking. This is when this comes in really handy. Mind Reader? which is a guaranteed hit for whatever comes next, and Blizzard, which is usually not great accuracy. I would usually not use this move in the mainline games because of his low accuracy, but combined with Mind Reader, that is going to be good. So that should be good for what we're going to be doing here today. I got a few apples. Let's trade in a couple small apples for a couple big ones because 30 floors is definitely mm, not short I certainly wish I had a couple of big apples but I don't and that'll be it I'm fairly certain let me just look through here one more time apples elixirs well, I might bring along one more elixir, actually. I have a feeling that Blizzard is going to be used a whole lot. We got plenty of these on hand. Sometime soon, I'm going to possibly want to focus on getting our rank up one more time so we can have more items. Because with these bigger dungeons, I'm going to want to bring more items. Now, as for Shiva and her Reflect, I'm not going to take it out because... I'm worried that I'll forget to give it back later. Although, nah. No, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll hope that I can remember. I will hope that I can remember. 
Given the circumstances, it probably wouldn't be a bad thing t for Shiva to have a few options going into this dungeon. So hopefully, I won't forget to give Shiva back the Reflect whenever she's not with Etoile. Okay, we are prepared. Are we prepared? Hold on a sec. Does everybody have... A rare quality. Do you have a rare quality, Etoile? You do not. How about Shiva? Shiva does, Etoile does not. Let's get Etoile a rare quality. Where are you hanging at? There you are. Yeah, we'll definitely go with the rainbow gummies for you. Do something other than attack, please. How about defense? There we go. And there's a rare quality. What you got? Notorious healing. The rate at which HP restores naturally is sped up. Period. That's a good thing. I am glad, really glad, that I remember to get Etoile a rare quality. That would have, um, sucked to miss out on that. So, let us begin Wyvern Hill. Uh, you know, I almost want to go along so that I can tag along with a Cubone. But there be dragons. Okay, move settings. Starting out, let's not go crazy with Mind Reader yet. You can go ahead and do that stuff, and you can do that stuff. Oh, there's definitely some, uh, dragons here. You're just going to just wander around Dranman Lane now, aren't you? Here, try this out. That works. Nope, uh, no. Go this way. Explore the perimeters first. I do have it set to... Wait. What's this weather band? When equipped, it shields the wearer from weather as if it's always clear. Just occurred to me that we never... I, I forgot about focusing on these. Yeah, we do want you having the higher special... Or do we? Actually, might actually give that to Etoile so that bug attack can be a little bit more effective. Boost evasiveness, you do get kind of up close and personal at times. Then, because it's new and neat, do that. Yeah, as I was saying, I do have it set to prioritize stairways. So there's not going to be too much time spent. Worrying about items and enemies and that sort of thing. I 
I don't know, lost my train of thought as I was trying to figure out which move I wanted to use there. Okay, that's just a path. So, yeah. Prioritize stairs so that y'all aren't taking too much damage. Looking for items. Sometimes my mind just takes a little bit of time to process the sentences that I wish to speak. It is definitely interesting hearing this song again after so long. Not since the first dungeon. Which I'm pretty sure we have visited at least once since then, but it has been a long time. It's almost kind of nostalgic. Oh, no you don't. You need to get further into the room for that to work. That's unfortunate. Third floor, using the first item. On the bright side, third floor, found the stairway almost immediately. Jump Pluff over there, guarding some sort of item. Okay, got one of those. Got the other. And Confused One is good to have. Please don't get distracted by enemies. You got long range attacks. And now you don't. Regardless, just move on. And now, attack that. That was the close range attack. Definitely going to take a little bit of effort to remember which one is short range and which one is long range. We left, we left behind an item, it occurs to me. Okay. Maddie, go ahead and be the next one to explore. And that item over there is not too far off. What was it? Oh, it was a treasure. That's why we left it behind. Well, definitely don't leave that behind. I think you are worth giving an apple to, yeah. As we go on, a twall is going to be certainly useful in making sure we don't die. Should have saved that attack. Oh boy, we're, we're getting a collection of temporary teammates, aren't we? Oh, that's a new one. You can break walls as you walk. But your belly gets significantly emptier if you break walls. And you can't break any more walls if your belly reaches zero. Well, we gotta try this out. 91. Oh gosh! Auto mode, um... Auto, auto mode! It decides to just go ahead and ignore walls and eats up that, um... Ooh. Oh. 
auto mode is kind of bad with you to have around. Can we, like, kick you off the team? Oh, good. We can actually kick you off the team. Yeah, uh, well, I'm actually kind of curious, though, before we move on. Everybody kind of do some attacking of that thing. And I'm kind of curious if Shiva, when going through tunnels, near narrow passages, breaks the walls. Nope, that don't count. Okay. Yep, yeah, we... <sighs> I mean, the obvious solution is to just not use auto mode, but I can easily see myself frequently bumping into a wall by accident. In fact, in the past, I have bumped into walls by accident. Please don't have that same ability. Rare quality is leap ahead. That's actually a good one to have. Maddie says it's an annoying ability, yeah. There's another one that works nicely with it that makes it so you don't take damage from hunger. That sounds amazing. Not having to worry about hunger anymore would be pretty nice. So Wyvern Hill is where we're currently at. And so far, it's not too bad. But I'm willing to bet that as we go along, it's going to get more dangerous, especially... Oh dear. That's That part's not so good, actually. There's going to be stronger Pokemon as we go. I know that there's going to be a Flygon somewhere in this dungeon. And there's also going to be... Some other dragons as well. Probably on the higher floors. Tell you what, bringing Shiva along was definitely a good idea with that squeeze-out ability. Going to... Kind of allow my team to get away without using... A whole bunch of, um, ethers. Oh, somebody snuck onto the team again, huh? Party crasher. Okay, the stairs are right here. But... I am actually kind of interested in rescuing that Pidgey. Let's try that again. What's rising? What quest do we have here? Oh, the Pidgey is the quest. Well, then it's definitely important that we do that. Um, no. Oh, that's what you are. I forgot what that Pokemon what is actually called. Nice stat boosting. Well, you really want to go that way, huh? Dragon Dance is kind of a bad thing. I think at this point, it would probably be a good idea to start using one of these ethers. Oh, boy. However... Go ahead and use this. You know, the smarter idea of Bagon would have been to attack this thing, which I'm pretty sure was almost down. I'm 
Okay, going to take a chance here. And hope that we can go ahead and get some recovery in. Now, Etoile, you are closer to the rescue Pokemon. So you go ahead and do that, and then Shiva will go ahead and lead you all out of this floor. Do not escape from the dungeon. Etoile's got that thing that boost recovered HP. So we didn't have to use one of those berries. 